Hello guys, so here sa video na to in this video will I'll guide you how to unlock bootloader and install DWRP So these are the uh, sites that we got we got our resources from if we have here boycrack.com and then get droid tips so here these are the this is where you can download the tools needed and then in boycrack I think I only got here the tool for or site for requesting so let's start we'll follow one guide I think it's in Spanish but that's the one I followed I translated it verbatim huh? so uh, credit to the original maker or of this tutorial although it's in Spanish I just translated it and then we'll just go over the guide quickly huh? so here I think it's just uh, greeting and then warning so here I think this is just an instruction to get your uh, IMEI let's skip that so first step here install the Lenovo USB drivers and ADB setup drivers so I think you can find it in get get droid tips then of course after after installing drivers restart your PC so on your phone you need to also activate activate the developer options so if you don't know just to go to the your about phone then the build number or Or build number or version number I think you need to click it phone version yeah phone version uh, click it seven to eight times and then there will be a yeah pop-up message na saying that you are now a developer so here once you go back so on your main uh, settings page you will now see the developer options so in that go to developer options and then turn on the OEM unlock unlocking and then USB debugging and then look for the sub menu I think there's also an icon there connect like a connector icon so once you click on that, you can select submenus. You just select uh, file transfer. So, so after doing that, well, uh, just to skip that part, uh, you can do that. <laughs> Because it's part of the some of the process. No? So to quickly request, you just need the serial number. So that's uh, settings, about phone, status, and then serial number. Eight digits on serial number. So just take an out, take note. Of it taken out of it no and then you will use it in this site so this is the site for requesting your unlock bootloader image 
So here, I think, just try this 3 to Z2, Z2 Pro, and Edge. Like uh, trying this 3, there will, there's, you will receive a pop-up that your they've sent you an email. Uh, just a tip, try to use Gmail. Because I think all the other emails like Yahoo, I still have a Yahoo, all the email, it's not working or it's not sending the image file. Now we're done with this. It's just a process. We don't need, in this one, we don't need the IMEI, so just serial number is okay. Now, say, so yeah, there, serial number, email, and then check, check, submit. Now wait for your unlock bootloader image file. And then here, on the next folder, in the next, in the folder you have downloaded. So there will be a like a C6 light tool. So it looks like this. That's where you will paste the the unlock image, the unlock bootloader image. So you can see here. You'll be replaced by your own whatever they sent sent you, right? Now here, uh, to quickly open, see, I don't really know how it works for Windows 10, but in Windows 7, you can easily do this. CMD. And then try to see if your device is detected. So try to press command is ADB devices. So here, in my case, I think since I have the correct driver and everything, you can see it's detected. And then, now that it's detected, you, you can put, you can now command, or put a command, ADB reboot, bootloader. So your phone will restart, go to, and it will go to the bootloader. So on the status of the bootloader, it will show there, locked. So it will show lock now. Reboot, reboot bootloader. So type here. So once you see the bootloader, some status is there, and then you can see locked. Next one is put a command on CMD fast boot flash unlock unlock bootloader AMG. So I put it here. So it says here, your phone will restart several times. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no. I think, uh, yeah, I was with my deal. So once you, you're on that bootloader, you need to pull put the command here and then after putting this command I think uh, next command will be passput oam unlock dash go so that's the time your phone will start several times and then 
It will reboot. Reboot. So guys, since yeah, try to leave it. Maybe it's it will do the process and then. Yeah, we'll just do the process and then on your first boot. No, uh, this is one. So if you want to check if it's already unlocked, no. what happened there? Restart automatically, fast boot reboot. So usually it's automatic, but if it's not starting automatically you need to type the fastboot reboot if you want to verify that your phone is now unlocked or has an unlocked bootloader you need to again go to the reboot bootloader and then on the status you will now see unlocked instead of locked no so that's it for unlocking the bootloader now let's go to the next one which is installing twrp mm -hmm. <coughs> so here for twrp i think this is just a verbatim translate. I will not anymore. I think it's just about greetings. So again, shout out or credits to the original maker of this tutorial. So this is the requirement unlock boot loader, which is the process we've we've done earlier. So minimum uh, fifty percent battery, and then. What else? So on the same, I think on the same tool you will see this. A flash recovery. When you click, I mean it will open and enter and And then press submenu uh, with several options. Press one key, and then enter again. Submenu comes out again. Option press one again. This will restart Chinese recovery TWRP on your phone to the phone. So it will start several times. Right click. Next, we press cancel. Change the language to English, right click in the middle and of the screen and press cancel. You will now get to the screen with several windows. So I think it's just showing the window names, install, wipe back up. We need you go to advance and press and get to the option install root we press and the magic starts acting magic 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 starts acting it will restart again and your phone will have twrp or root if you want so this is also the process where you you can unroot guys you need to just go to this twrp and then uh, just do the process uh, the unlock or root again if you want to unroot yeah so i think in the maybe in the meantime i think it's just like an hey uh, once once you do this process, guys, it will have you'll have the magisk, yeah, and then the recovery file. So 
that's it. It will wipe wipe the data. So if you're on CN ROM, maybe it will reset it, and then depends if you back back your phone up, then you can go back to your, just go back to your backup. So uh, yeah, that's just it for this guide. Uh, and we just go over the process quickly no? and then hopefully in the future we can we'll have the stable custom, uh, custom ROMs so with this uh, TWRP tool we can easily flash this those OS or those ROMs so there guys so thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Share or send it to someone who needs or <laughs> who needs this guide or might help them. Yeah. So that's it. Check out. Uh, just try to like, comment, or subscribe if you have any questions. If you have any questions, just comment <laughs> below. Yeah. Hope you know. Okay. Bye-bye.